Reporters are digging through thousands of emails this weekend released by WikiLeaks and some revealing some gems like this one from 2012. Uh, Cutter would like to see WJC for five minutes and NYC to present one, a $1 million check that Cutter promised for WJC's birthday in 2011. But are emails like this just the tip of the iceberg? Joining me now is the man who wrote the book about the money the Clintons have received, Peter Schweitzer, author of Clinton Cash. What is your take? Good to see you this morning, Peter. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks so much for having me. You've been saying this for a while. Yeah, you I say think this, this is just the tip of the iceberg here. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. Um, and I think that the, as the email flow continues, uh, uh, there are going to be more and more troubling emails. I think the level of intensity is going to rise. Basically, what WikiLeaks has said is they've released about 20% of them, uh, and they're saving the best for last. So I think we're going to continue to see this pattern emerge. And look, all of the biggest concerns that critics of the Clinton Foundation had of pay to play, of Hillary's conduct of the State Department, they've all been confirmed. There's nothing in these emails that indicates that people are exaggerating concerns about quid pro quo and favors being traded. The, the evidence confirms it rather than turns it away. Yeah, and I think a lot of people that, that see this, they're thinking, okay, you get a $1 million check if you're President Clinton for your birthday. How many others are there? How many other gifts are there? And where is all this money going? Well, that's a great question. I mean, one of the things that we are doing right now, uh, the researchers that, that I have working for me, is uh, if you look at some of these internal documents, when you look at the amount of money that the internal documents say that they gave to the Clinton Foundation, and then the amount of money that the Clinton Foundation publicly says they received, there's a huge gap. So the Clinton Foundation, in its quote-unquote public disclosure, uh, has not been disclosing the full size of these gifts. And I think the example from, uh, from Qatar and, and other countries uh, is only going to further amount. Look, there needs to be an independent investigation of the Clinton Foundation. They have not been straight. They have not been honest. Clearly, the concerns Chelsea raised about pay-to-play, about quid pro quo, about corruption are very real. And it goes to the heart of Hillary Clinton. Clinton's conduct while she was Secretary of State. Yeah, and Peter, you've written a book about this, Clinton Cash, as I mentioned earlier. You were even mentioned in one of these emails. This is an email that Palmieri wrote to Podesta saying, quote, HRC raised Clinton Cash convo with Jake and me. It was a difficult conversation. So this is a bigger issue, too, <laughs> involving the media. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I mean, there are uh, more than a dozen emails concerning Clinton Cash, and I think, frankly, what's most troubling is, uh, first of all, before they even had a copy of the book, they're desperately trying to find a copy of the book, they've already decided how they're going to attack it without having actually read it. The second thing that's troubling is it shows that they are cultivating their relationships with, quote, friendly anchors, uh, and in the context right. of this email, that has to be George Stephanopoulos, and they say that Schweitzer needs to be asked two questions. Well, those two questions were questions that George Stephanopoulos asked me. After that interview, there were emails yeah. where they're high-fiving and saying, great, we got done what we needed to get done. So it really yeah. goes to the heart of some media outlets. Some alarming things. Peter Schweitzer, thanks for being with us this morning. Good to see you. Thank you.